What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode with Mom and Papa Joe. Today on the menu is uh, competition style brisket. We haven't done uh, one of those videos just yet. So uh, we've got a, a nice prime. We're gonna quickly trim. I'm not gonna show you much of the trim. We've got other uh, brisket trim videos out there if you wanna take a look. But we're gonna trim, inject, season, and then throw it onto the trigger. If this is your first time checking out our uh, channel, we really appreciate it. Uh, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. We, uh, we think you're gonna enjoy what you see. To our old fans that help us get where we are, thank you very much and thanks again for tuning in. Let's get started. Here is our prime brisket. Uh, not, uh, not especially marble. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot to choose from, but uh, we'll make it do uh, what it did. We will make it work. So real quick trim drop. And like I said earlier, uh, this won't be a detailed trim. If you want to see a detailed trim, uh, check out one of our brisket trim videos uh, on the site. We're gonna call this good for silver skin. We're not gonna chase this uh, fat vein. Let's work on this backside real quick. Again, this is competition. So the trim is going to be a little more uh, aggressive. Trimmings do not go to waste, so don't worry about it.
All right, that didn't take very long. So here we are, uh, finished. I've got that nice bevel with my point exposed because my point is gonna shrink and hopefully line up nicely with this flat. I wanna turn in uh, sections of the point and flat. All right, I'm not gonna separate, so that's the reason this is trim in this manner. All right, again, nice uh, one eight to a quarter inch of fat, some point exposed. That's gonna uh, caramelize nicely. Uh, this little gouge was already there, but uh, we are ready to get this puppy injected. So our injection today is Talk Texan Full of Bull. Uh, man, an awesome injection I've been using for uh, some time. Uh, really creates a gravy-like consistency that tends to stay in the brisket a lot better than some of those more uh, watery type uh, injections. I've got this simply mixed today, two tablespoons of this uh, Talk Texan Full Bull with one cup of beef stock. Small amounts, light pressure on your plunger. I think it's important that you try to put in as few holes as possible. So I do a lot of injecting from one hole. So we're injected, let's get the seasoning. Bit of a binder. You can choose to use whatever you want as a binder. I'm using mustard today. And we're using two rugs today. Our first, our base, Texas Chrome. Man, nice large uh, cracked pepper, uh, good salt, great base. Uh, to me, it's an all-purpose base. Make sure I'm not messing this up. Texas Chrome. And as usual, I want to start on those sides. Nice medium layer. We're only going with two layers today. And then our second rub is going to be the Chupacabra Brisket Magic. Lots of herbs and spices. Really will pair well with this Texas Chrome. We'll get this a flip and execute in the same manner on the next side, on the second side. Iron out those fingerprints. All right, we're going to give that a couple of 20 minutes or so to, uh, to become one with the meat. Sweat in. In the meantime, let's go get this Traeger preheated. Our Timberline 850 is uh, up to temp. We're going to be going at 225 on Super Smoke for the first half hour. Uh, after a half hour, I'm going to crank it up to 275 for the rest of the cook. Oh, this brisket has a nice sweat going. Try to be careful not to crease the top for the nice layers of seasonings that you put together. So we'll be back out here half an hour just to crank this uh, temp up to 275. All right, we are at that three hour mark. Let's take a look, see. Man, that color is beautiful from those two uh, from those two rugs. A little bit of beef stock, just a light misting. We'll come back and do the same thing in another 45 minutes or so. It's been another 45 minutes. Let's give this a look. See, man, she is beautiful. All right, quick spritz again. Not a whole lot. Just keeping her moist, and uh, I think we're going to be wrapping in the next half hour. We are at four hours 
at 275 and uh, a half an hour at uh, 225 on super smoke so we're getting ready to wrap this baby I think she's where she needs to be very simple process man this is beautiful got some heavy duty aluminum foil some boiling hot beef broth less than a quarter cup we're probably looking at two or three tablespoons just to jump start the braising process. We want to wrap this foil tight. I do not use uh, butcher paper in competition. I use foil. It's a pretty thick foil, so all I need is one layer. I want to pull tight. You want the foil to hug the brisket. To reduce, ring, uh, to reduce room for steaming. You want this to braise as opposed to steam. All right, this is gonna go back on the pit. I don't need an additional layer, this is thick enough. Back onto the pit. All right, we are at an hour and 45 minutes. We're about to do our first check. Now I wrap so that I'm able to open this package and see exactly where I'm probing. Uh, we're talking 205, but there's still significant resistance. So uh, we're gonna come back here in about 20 minutes or so. Ooh, that rain is coming. It's gotten dark. Uh, we're at 45 extra minutes, man. Uh, this brisket is being a little on the stubborn side. All right, we are pushing, we are pushing 211. And it's finally starting to feel halfway decent. Uh, I'm gonna pull and begin the rest process. So uh, we've had two hours of rest on this brisket. We have uh, brought our pit back to temp, only the 250. We're gonna dry this brisket out and do a little saucer. Uh, a lot of competition cooks, including myself, we sauce. All right, uh, that bark looks pretty good. Uh, so probably only go about five, maybe 10 minutes to dry it out a little more. Then we'll put a little sauce on it and call it good. Get ready for slicing. All right, we've had a good uh, 10 minutes. We're nice and dry, man. All right, we'll come back with uh, sauce of your choice, but you don't want it to be very sweet uh, and it doesn't require much. Just a little bit of sauce, man, it's going to give this brisket a nice zing. Just a thin bit of sauce. It acts like a sealant. You're able to drag these slices through uh, that au jus that this brisket created while it cooked. All right, and then we'll give this about another 10 minutes just to tacky up uh, this bit of sauce. All right, we are finally ready to get this thing sliced, man. And she looks, uh, she looks great. Love the way she looks. And if we remember that point that we had exposed, we talked about how that would shrink and line up with the point. Our correction how that would shrink and line up with the flat well it absolutely did uh, worked out just great now I can come all the way up here to get my slices uh, really looks good After I get to a point where I don't think I'll have any more quality slices, I, uh, I will stop. And man, I love that. Uh, competition, beautiful trim, uh, well cooked. Uh, man. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is pick up my nine slices and start giving them the love that they require. Alright. Uh, because of how nice these slices are, man. I can start right here. 
that point is nice and thick. Uh, really got rid of that fat from this corner. So I can turn and uh, this is a beautiful slice for turning. Because we've got it exposed, I'm not gonna use it. So what I'm getting ready to do is simply pick out my seven or nine slices based on which competition you're, uh, you're in. And I am going to give them a bath with the au jus that, these, uh, that this brisket created. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Man, you can ask so much more than that. That's a beautiful slice of brisket right there. All right, folks, <laughs> I didn't have a turning box, but this is uh, what that turning box is supposed to look like uh, to some degree. Nice and shingle with my point slices up front. Uh, those are the most tender, those are the most flavorful. I give the judges their choice of flat or point. Uh, this really works for me. Again, this was just a, uh, a, a prime, not uh, well marbled, but uh, it, it got the job done. So there it is, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mom and Papa Joe's uh, competition style brisket. Uh, very happy with this brisket, very happy with this cook. Uh, this is, uh, to some degree, very much what we do at uh, Cook Offs. So I'm not sitting here telling you that this is my competition recipe. I absolutely would not put that out on video. But uh, this could definitely be used uh, as a competition recipe. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with Mom and Papa Joe's. Hit me up in those comments and let me know what you think of this video. Do you have any suggestions? Anything you'd like to see? And once again, if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, I don't know what you're waiting on. Make it happen. Tell a friend. Ring that bell. We, have, we absolutely need your support. Thank you guys once again for watching. And uh, I want y'all to take care of yourselves. Be safe and we'll see you when we see you. Holla.